Hello everyone, my name is Rick and I recently got delivery of my Nakamichi Dragon 11.4.6 sound system and I just wanted to make a quick video on my initial thoughts and um, the setup process and I know there is a lot of like hype and curiosity around this so I thought I'll just show you guys around a few of the settings that are available and how everything looks and sounds like and I'll play a sample but I'm sure my phone and YouTube cannot do even 10% justice to the insanity that is the sound system. So going to the actual sound bar, this is massive to say the least. It's This is an 85 inch TV and if you see the clearance next to the speaker stand, it is literally half an inch. And it is an incredibly well-built surround sound bar and i would say that whenever you're unboxing it yeah have two people just it's much easier it can be done with one person but having two people is much easier than just one so here's the there is an actual panel on top which is touch sensitive and it shows up only when you touch it and the rest of the time it disappears and there is a small display in the front which is absolutely a life-changing thing because coming from samsung q950a i had to get up pause whatever i'm doing and then come here all the way to the top to see what i'm doing and go back and sit and see if it works or not so the sound, uh, the sound bar is absolutely massive. If you see, it is clipping the base of the TV, so I have to create a TV riser. So, excuse the current setup. This is just because I got the sound system and I didn't have enough time to order the rest of the stuff. The speaker stand is also on back order, but yeah, it for currently I have to actually get up here and press the remote from here to turn on the TV. The rest of the settings are on Bluetooth and so that is the sound bar and it is absolutely huge and amazing like it is amazing so here is the surround sound surround speaker and the right subwoofer and it's the same with the left speaker and the left subwoofer and in the box you also get this leather folio which is a quick start guide and the actual owner's manual and it's it's a really cool like high quality leather folio now the thing that really surprised me is the remote because this thing is ginormous and it has pretty much all the functionality that you'd want but i would still recommend uh, downloading the nakamichi app and actually using that because it gives you even more granular control if you want to turn on a particular sub facing a particular direction which is really cool and a lot of these buttons have multiple functionalities so music has three profiles starting from one two three where depending on what you select the priority on like the explosive sound will be more or the natural sounding and somewhere in between and it's same with movies um, game has different modes where it's game, news, sports, and you can toggle between them. There's a night mode. The all channel stereo is meant for um, audio tracks that you listen to and it upscales it in Dolby surround sound. And that's mainly meant for if you're watching stuff on YouTube or something like that. Now the surround button has a lot of different toggles. It toggles through um, here. I'm not sure if it will be visible. There is native, there is Dolby surround, there is studio mode, which is pretty much, that's the mode to listen to music on. And depending on what source you're playing, there is Dolby Neural uh, native and some other modes also, which I'm missing right now, but it depends on whether your the media that you're playing supports that or not. And it will be, it'll, it's a contextual menu. And it's really cool. And these are the buttons for the on-screen display. And hang on, let me get this in focus. And 
this is how you get to the on-screen display so there you go and this is really comprehensive you have an audio section a video section calibration which basically you can mention the distance between each speaker and your relative listening position and it can do all of that stuff and there is of course system and I have spent a lot of time playing with these settings getting it to my getting it to suit my room because my room is open on one side and it has a wall on the other so it's not the ideal setup but I've tinkered a lot with the system and I'm really happy with where it is right now and so this is you can basically select the number of subwoofers here you can lower it to one and you can take it all the way up to four and here is the base here is the volume and then there are a lot of this is the center channel treble surround speaker surround of uh, back and this is the adaptive height dispersion so it basically you can select between different types of uh, height effects where it goes from max to wide to focal to off and you can individually adjust the front height and rear height for the speakers and here is the favorites button so whenever you find a setting that you use most you can actually save it here and something really cool with the actual surround speakers is that you can these um, upward facing uh, drivers are rotatable so you can actually it takes a bit of effort but you see this notch you can rotate it to notch anywhere between these positions all the way 90 degrees and it's really cool how it changes the sound profile depending on what you're doing and it takes a bit of effort to put it back in but I'll do that in just a second but um, yeah, I would say for anybody who's considering the system, you should definitely um, make sure that you play with these things and take a measuring tape and definitely, definitely um, go ahead and calibrate the system. It makes a world of difference and even play with each of those settings. There are so many settings that I still am figuring out what is the best way to go about it but it is worth it absolutely worth it to go through the calibration process because it does make a huge difference so the first day when i got it i placed the subs right next to the tv right there and there and i that was what they said is the one with the best bass response but for my room it did not do very well it like the base was there, but I think all the settings were set to min minimum or whatever the recommended is. And it was just the base lacked punch, you know, like it, it lacked the deep base that you'd expect from a system like this. And so I put it where uh, to the back of the room at a 45 degree angle, because that's another suggested position. And that works very well for my system because the back is closed. The front is not. So it's it's working really good. And so the first day when I played it, it was good. It was like the minute you start the system, it plays a demo. I have a YouTube short on that. And that is ridiculous. That's like, oh my God, you cannot, you cannot like begin to understand where all these sounds are coming from. And it's like pinpoint precision, you know, when there is thunder over your head, you actually look up because you're like, okay, like this is, this is ridiculous. And it it has a wow factor involved but i feel for my taste since i had the q950a before this i had set it up to where it played amazingly well for me so for me personally and this might not be an issue for most people but for me it was like okay i need to play with this because the sound is amazing but it's not what i want from the system so I had to play a lot with those settings and play a lot of different um, soundtracks and movies that I've seen over a hundred times and I know how it should sound, the sound, the kind of sound that I like. And then it's like finally after playing a bit, it just blew my mind. 
it was it is beyond anything i've heard from any system out there and again this is i'm not comparing it to a dedicated home theater system because i've not had that so this is strictly comparing it to samsung q950a and some of the other bose and sono systems that i've heard and the audio height channel the height channels on this is absolutely um there is no competition for that i feel this is hands down the best atmos experience i've had and it is absolutely it's gonna wow you and when you listen to certain tracks that you've heard a hundred times you know you've heard it in headphones and you pick up certain instrument separation that you're like wait i've never heard this before on this song is this is the song different or is it just the speakers are like creating this sort of effect where you're like okay you can hear the instrument separation on certain tracks and it's like okay that is yeah you're rediscovering all this stuff that you thought you heard a million times and it is simply amazing i saw a few movies on this i played um ps5 i played god of war ragnarok which was wow like i have literally not heard that game that way it was amazing 